Well, thank you. This is more than 30 people. <laughs> I, I was expecting 30 people, so there you go. Uh, thank you. I have to read off of this because I'll forget stuff, and, and I apologize for that. Uh, first of all, thank you so much for coming today. Uh, and those that are tuning in via the live stream, I thank you for that as well. It's been a real joy and a real pleasure to be able to learn this music uh, on this beautiful and incredible instrument. If you have one of these devices, I would ask if you would turn it off, silence it at this time, please. In the tradition of these recitals, we're going to serve pie afterwards in the greeting space, and it's through this double door here out at the top of the greeting space, and there's coffee out there as well. Let me talk a little bit about this instrument. Uh, this is a molar instrument. It was put in in 1952. There's a little bit of write-up on it in the brochure as well. It's a 65 rank instrument, and it is truly made to play Anglican choral and organ literature. So the music that is being presented today is going to really sound wonderful on this instrument. Because this instrument has very beautiful round and bold foundation stops, makes the music come alive. Now, instead of dramatic dynamic changes during the Baroque period, and that's why there were multiple this style of music, and sometimes I'm doing it with my feet, and you're having to do all of that while your hands and feet are playing the notes all at the same time, and that's what makes it so challenging. So, um, 